is to create a space where families can spend quality, creative time together, which is something that no one gets enough of these days. And the museum is the perfect place to slow down and do exactly that. When people are exposed to art and creative thinking and exploration at a young age, it becomes a part of their lives. So the Splash Studio, where you are right now, is designed as a place for families to create work together, inspired by art in the collection. You'll we'll see families creating wax resist paintings this morning, inspired by riverscapes in the museum. And then we do four tours every day. Families can go with our museum educators and visit those paintings in more in the galleries. So new this year is our first Art Splash exhibition. And it pairs works of art from the collection with interactive activities designed to pull visitors, young and old, more deeply into the art. Art Splash is always changing. We're here through September 7th. Our projects in the studio and our tours change bi-weekly, encouraging families to return multiple times. Um, on the first Sunday of every month, the museum is pay what you wish admission. And on those days, we do a big family festival. July 5th, we're going to be featuring um, the winning film, Song of the Sea. On August 2nd, we have Grammy winners, the Okie Dokie Brothers, who are all kinds of fabulous. And then new this summer, we're doing an author illustrator series, which kicks off tomorrow night with A is for Art Museum with Marla and Katie, followed by David, um, Philadelphia's great David Wiesner on July 15th, and then wrapping up with up and coming duo Amy Dykin and Zachariah O'Hora on August 26th. Those are all um, readings and signings for families. So please come visit Art Splash, bring your friends and neighbors and help us have a fabulous creative summer at the museum. Thank you. We're getting a home one? So we've set up um, a wayfinding system throughout the entire museum. You can choose any letter of the alphabet at any time and it'll wayfind you from your location in the museum to go discover and unlock that letter. Once you get to the gallery where the letter is located, so say we're going to F is for fish. We get to that gallery, we don't know what fish is until we get there, but then a screen unlocks and you see the painting that is Paul Klee's Fish Magic and you get to play an interactive game surrounding um, deeper looking at that piece of art. We're going to take you on a tour of the alphabet, 26 lettered objects throughout all the galleries in the museum. This system knows where you're at in the building, so it's basically like indoor GPS. You can decide where you want to go next, and we're going to decide to go to M, so everybody hit M, please. congratulates you and shows you how many letters you've now visited. So it keeps a score, basically. You've unlocked two letters. And then you see a surprise. 